understand the words and gain the knowledge from the Quran journey. Surah Al Qadr. During the other prophets' time, the people used to live a longer life than our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's followers. Having a long life means having a long time to do more good actions and get more rewards from Allah subhanahu wa taala. If someone lived 100 years, he got to do more good actions than if someone lived only 60 years. One day, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam talked about the Bani Israel prophets who lived a long life and did very good actions for a long time. The Sahabas were wondering if they could live a long life to get more rewards from Allah subhanahu wa taala. Then Jibrail alayhi salam came to the Prophet and said that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's followers are very lucky. Then he read Surah Al-Qadr. The Sahabas became extremely happy for Allah subhanahu wa taala's great gift. Surah Al-Qadr mentions two great gifts from Allah subhanahu wa taala. One is for all the people who live in this world, and the second is only for the Muslims. The first gift is the living miracle, the book of guidance for mankind, the Quran. This great gift is not only for Muslims. It is the last and final holy book or guidance for all of mankind. The Quran has all of the social and personal advice to live in peace in this world and the hereafter. This great book started to come to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the year of 610 in Qadr night. After that night, little by little, Jibreel alaihissalam brought the whole Quran to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it took around twenty-three years to complete the Quran. But what is Qadr night? One day, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam got the information about the time of Qadr night and went to some sahabas to tell that great news. But unfortunately, on the way, he saw two Muslims arguing with each other, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam forgot that important information. But later, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us clues to find out when the Qadr night is. It would definitely be the last ten days of Ramadan, especially the odd nights like the twenty-first, twenty-third. 25th, 27th, or the 29th of Ramadan. Some scholars also believe that it might be on the 27th night of Ramadan, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala knows the best. This surah also mentions the second special gift that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala gives only to the Muslims, and it is the most powerful Qadr night. Imagine one person is praying day and night without taking any breaks for eighty years. They would get a lot of reward from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And as Muslims, if we pray just the whole Qadr night, inshallah, we will get more rewards than that person. Let's have another example. During Prophet Adam or Noah alaihissalam's time, one good person lived for one thousand years, and he prayed day and night continuously. But today, as Muslims, we can get more rewards than him if we just get a few qadr nights in our lifetime. In this surah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala told us that just this Qadr night is more than one thousand months. It could be more than ten thousand months, or millions, or billions of months. That means just this one Qadr night is an excuse from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to give us unlimited rewards, so that we can easily go to heaven, inshallah. 
That's why our Prophet Muhammad said that if we missed that night or wasted that night, it would be extremely bad luck. To get this Qadr night, Muhammad became very careful and worked very hard during the last 10 days of Ramadan. During those 10 days, he even used to live in the mosque all the time. On that special night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends millions and billions of angels in this world. If they see someone is praying or doing any Islamic jobs, they will also pray for them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some scholars also believe that the Qadr is the fate or the fortune night. On that night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give our yearly plans to the angel. What will happen to our life within the next year? Will we have good health or bad health? Or die or get a new job or get married or even have a baby? All kinds of future events will be fixed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels will get this information on the Qadr night and start their jobs accordingly. On the Qadr night, there is a huge team of angels that will come to earth and their leader is one of the most powerful angels, Jibreel salam. From Adam salam to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, his main job was to bring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's holy books or direct messages to all of the prophets. After Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's death, his job was done. But every year, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends him to earth only on the night of Qadr to make this night very powerful and protective. No evil power or shaitan can mess up this peaceful night. From sunset to sunrise, this night is very peaceful and filled with blessings. Muhammad sallallahu advice to us was to do the special dua in the night of Qadr. The translation of this dua is, Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive. So forgive me. These blessings we should not miss for any cost. We should follow Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's system. On the last 10 days of Ramadan, he did not do anything but stay at the mosque and do all kinds of prayer or worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the blessings to get many other nights in our lifetime. Ameen. Important facts of Surah Al-Qadr. Number 1. Surah Al-Qadr was named after the last word of the first sentence of this surah. Number two, the meaning of Qadr is power and honor. Number three, Qadr is the 97th number surah in the Quran. Number four, Surah Al-Qadr confirmed that Muhammad ﷺ became a prophet during the Ramadan month. Number five, Surah Al-Qadr has five sentences. Number 6. This surah talks about the most powerful and honorable night of the year. Number 7. Qadr is one of the beginning Makki surahs. Number 8. This surah proved that the Quran first came during the month of Ramadan. And finally, number 9. In the Qadr night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends billions of angels to the earth. So, with all of this Quranic information, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us understand the lessons of Surah Al-Qadr and apply the lessons into our life. Ameen. Join us in this great da'wah work and get countless of rewards during the month of Ramadan by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter. And inshallah, Allah will give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter. Zazakallah, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you are safe during this time. 
And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.